so good morning students today i am going to describe lecture number 3 of module 1 so in the last lecture we studied about human goals for a fulfilling life and we studied human goals at various levels at the level of individual at the level of family at the level of society at the level of nature and we concluded the last lecture as the behavior and the social structures are very important for a fulfilling life so in this lecture we are going to study the behavioral part that's why the lecture name is relationship so in this lecture primarily we are going to study established values you must have gone through these values in which we two and in which we three but in this lecture i will briefly describes the established nine established values so let's start the lecture so as we know if we are talking about relationship if we are talking about a fulfilling life behavior is very important part behavior is very important part so if we investigate and i suppose you must have investigate it in which we two and which we three that our behavior is founded on feeling and thought our behavior is founded on feeling and thought and our feeling and thoughts are founded on may be founded on right understanding and may not be founded on right understanding if our feeling is not right then our expression in the form of behavior may go wrong even if we try to be our best behavior we are uncomfortable within even if we do not express anything in behavior that's why these feelings become very important for a fulfilling life so we will study if we have right understanding then we have right feelings and once we have right feeling within me i am in a state of harmony i am in a state of happiness and with this state of harmony with this state of right feelings my behavior gets definite and it ensure mutual happiness and it ensures mutual happiness that's why it becomes very important to talk about feelings feelings coming from right understanding so once our feelings are coming from right understanding feelings become definite once feelings are definite our behavior becomes definite and our feeling and behavior plays a very important role in a fulfilling life in ensuring harmonious society so the next question is which are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us in relationship so ask yourself take a pause and ask yourself which feelings are naturally acceptable to you in relationship so on the basis of natural acceptance we can find out that the feelings of trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude and love are naturally acceptable to us so you must have asked the same question in which we two and in which we three and i understand and i suppose that you have got the same answer but you can stop this screen for 2 minutes and ask again yourself whether these feelings are naturally acceptable to you or not so feeling of trust feeling of respect feeling of love or these feelings are naturally acceptable to you or not so in this lecture we are going to briefly describe about all the feelings because 
I assume that you must have gone through these feelings in detail in UHV 2 and UHV 3. So let's start with the feeling of trust. So trust means I am assured that the other's intention is right. And what is intention? Intention is my natural acceptance. So my natural acceptance is right, it is uncorrupted, it is innate in me. Similarly with the other, it is also innate in the other, it is uncorrupted in the other. So once I start exploration, when I start self-investigating myself, we can found it very naturally that my intention and the other's intention is right. The issue is only related to competence. So I may be lacking in the competence, the others may be lacking in the competence, but once I am assured that our intention is right, then we can make a meaningful program for each other. But generally what happens? Generally, we see our intention, but we ignore the other intention. And we make a question mark on the competence of the other. Why? Because I am doubting, doubting on his or her intention. So I have doubt on his or her intention. That's why this question mark comes here. So once when I ask myself whether I want to make myself happy, answer comes yes. Because I am referring my natural acceptance while asking this question. Similarly, when I ask, I want to make the other happy, answer comes yes. Why? Because again, I am referring my natural acceptance while giving answer of this question. But when I ask, the other wants to make me happy, then we become doubtful. Why? Because when I'm, I am asking this question, I am not referring my intention. I am not referring others intention. What I am looking for, I am looking for only his competence at the present state. And he is definitely not enough competent. And because he is not enough competent, I make doubt on his intention. Because for others, I equate competence with the intention, but for myself, I keep both separately. I see my intention, I see my competence, but while thinking of others, while think, talking of others, I don't see his or her intention, but I only focus on competence. And this is a major cause of mistrust in relationship. So how do I know that feeling of trust is ensured within us, with me and the other? So once one indicator is if I have feeling of trust, I don't feel opposition, irritation, anger in relationship because I know very well that the other's intention is right and my intention is right. So once this feeling of trust is ensured, I become free of these feelings, opposition, irritation and anger. And more than that, I become willingness, I show willingness and thoughts to be helpful for others. So I become helpful to others. So indicator of feeling of trust is this. First indicator is, I may be free from these feelings, feeling of opposition, feeling of irritation, feeling of anger. And second indicator is, I have a thought, I have feeling for his or her welfare. So if these two things are happening in me, it means I have feeling of trust. And one important question is why I am not able to ensure this feeling of trust in continuity? Because I am not able to see the other's intention in continuity. Many times I slip in seeing intention and competence and I shift towards competence rather than focusing on his or her intention. And once I doubt an intention, it breaks our relation, it ensures mistrust. 
So trust means now I am assured of intention of the other. I am assured that other's intention is right and now I am become free from opposition, feeling of irritation and anger. And all the thoughts or and feeling in me are to make the others competent. So this is the feeling of trust. So you would have studied this feeling of trust in UHV 2 and UHV 3. So take a pause for two minutes and ask yourself, are you able to see now the intention and competence? Are you able to investigate your intention and competence? Are you enough competent now to see others' intention and competence? If it is happening, then it will make you peaceful. It will make you stable in relationship. So after UHV 2, after UHV 3, now the same topic I am briefing here in UHV 4. But the important question is, are you grasping the concept? Are you able to see the reality of intention? Are you able to see that intention is natural acceptance? If it is, you will feel happy in relationship. You will see stability in your relationship. So let's move to another feeling that is respect. So respect is right evaluation. So right evaluation of each other's intention and competence. It means once I get assured about intention, then what will I do? Now I have to evaluate the other's competence. At the level of intention, I know my intention is right. At the level of intention, I know the other's intention is right. The only thing which I have to evaluate is now is competence. So when I evaluate competence rightly, it ensures feeling of respect. Because when I evaluate the competence rightly, the others feel comfortable with me. Because I am not, not over evaluating him or her. I am not under evaluating him or her. Because I am evaluating as they are, so they feel comfortable with me. This is feeling of respect. So on the basis of self, on the basis of natural acceptance, we can see that our purpose is same. Purpose is same means I want to live with happiness and prosperity. The other also wants to live with continuous happiness and prosperity. It means our purpose is same. So on the basis of natural acceptance, we can conclude that our purpose is same. But this you have to investigate whether these statements, these proposals are right or not. So ask yourself after UHV 2, UHV 3, now you are able to see this or not. Now you are able to see that our purpose is same. Your purpose is to make you happy and prosperous continuously. And this is my purpose too. Are you able to see it? Are you able to recognize it? So our purpose is same and we will find that our program is also, also same. What is my program? My program to live in harmony at all four levels, to understand harmony at all four levels for a fulfilling life. And what would be your program for a fulfilling life? Similar, to understand and to live in harmony at all four levels, at the level of individual, at the level of family, at the level of society, at the level of nature. So programs are same, our program are same. Methodology may be different. You may reach at the state of harmony from another methodology. I may reach from another methodology, but, but the program is same. I have to reach the state of harmony at all four levels and you have also to reach. It means our program is same. If we talk about potential, our potential is also similar. How? Because I have desired thought and expectation continuous in me. And I have potential that I can desire thought and expectation according to my natural acceptance. 
acceptance in continuity and you also have this potential it means our potential is same so our potential is also same if we combine all these three statement it means our purpose is same our program is same our potential is same it means what it means the other is similar to me the other is similar to me because our purpose is same our program is same our potential is same it means the other is similar to me this is minimum content of the respect so once i understand that the other is similar to me then there is a possibility to ensure respect if i am not able to see that the other is similar to me then i would start differentiating people than me there will be a differentiation around me so with the respect i feel the other as similar to me so our purpose is same our program is same our potential is same the other is similar to me and the gap between us is because of competence there is a lack of competence that's why we seems we assume the other as different than me but by understanding we can see that this difference is because of competence not because of purpose not because of program not because of potential the differentiation is because of competence and with the feeling of trust with the right evaluation what i will do when i will do right evaluation of me and the others when i will evaluate my competence and i will start evaluating the others there may be two case case number 1 the other may have more understanding than me and case number 2 i may have more understanding than the other isn't it if i evaluate if i start evaluating the other and if i start evaluating me myself then there would be only two case the other has more understanding than me or i have more understanding than the other so if i have more understanding than other what will i do i will start taking help to improve my competence from the other and if i have more understanding than the other what i will do first i will start living with his or her with him unconditionally with the feeling of responsibility and i feel committed to facilitate understanding in the other so in this manner we become complement of each other so if i am lacking lacking somewhere you would help me if you are lacking somewhere i would help you so we become complement of each other so what is the outcome of respect outcome of respect is complementarity this is complete content of respect so again take a pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself how many people are there around you to whom you think of complementarity unconditionally one two three count them and also start exploring after you achieve two after you achieve three these numbers has increased or not if the numbers are increasing it means your understanding is increasing if not then you have to start exploration in yourself then revise the concept and try to implement in practical ground and see what obstacles are you finding out that you are not able to ensure these feelings within you so respect is right evaluation and right evaluation outcome will be complementarity so if i evaluate you rightly and i found that you are 
having more understanding than me then i would start taking help from you otherwise i would make a program to help you with the feeling of responsibility while living with you unconditionally this is complete content of respect okay so after the feeling of trust and respect now feeling of affection so when we live with the feeling of trust and respect what does it mean it means now i showed about others intention now now i am able to see that we have same potential at the level of self and now i am able to define our complementarity on the basis of mutual competence with this background now i accept you as my relative i feel related related to you this feeling of acceptance of the other as being related is the feeling of affection so feeling of affection means now i am feeling related to you because i am assured about intention i am assured about potential and i am able to make right program to ensure complementarity between us with this i am feeling related to you this is a feeling of affection okay so today we can see that we have become quite well connected and also dependent on each other for various activities so the question is do we have a feeling of acceptance of each other we are making team work we are working in offices we are uh, working in uh, family do we feel connected with each other do we accept each other if it if it is if you are accepting the other as your relative then many problems of your life would be resolved but in the absence of feeling the work becomes very tough so feeling of affection means accepting the others as relative the feeling of relatedness is affection so with the feeling of affection a natural outcome of affection is the feeling of care and guidance so once i feel related to other the feeling of care and guidance naturally flows within myself so what is care and guidance so guidance means feeling of responsibility towards the self of my relative i know my relative is also a coexistence of self and body now it's my responsibility to take care of the self and the body of my relative so once i fulfill the responsibility towards the self of my relative this is feeling of guidance so basically the responsibility and commitment for ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the self of my relative is guidance so once i take care of the self what does it mean it means i am committed to ensure right understanding and right feeling in the self so that the other self may also fulfill may also live a fulfilling life so this responsibility is responsibility of this responsibility is a feeling of guidance similarly now i am committed to take care of the body of my relative so at the level of body what would i do i would do i do i think of nurturing and protection of the body of my relative so as a feeling of responsibility of toward the body of my relative is care so with the feeling of affection the feeling of guidance and care become natural with this we may talk about other feelings like feeling of reverence reverence is feeling of acceptance of excellence and what does excellence means excellence means understanding harmony and living in harmony at all four levels so now i understand harmony at the level of individual i understand at harmony at the level of family at the level of society at the level of nature and i am committed to live in this manner this is feeling of excellence 
so with the feeling of excellence i live in harmony i live with continuous happiness with others <clears throat> so ask yourself take a pause for 2 minutes stop video for 2 minutes and ask yourself are you able to see harmony at all four levels do you have feeling of excellence or do you have feeling of competence Com competition so feeling of excellence will strengthen our relations feeling of competition will degrade our relation so in investigate in yourself explore in yourself which feeling is naturally acceptable to you competition or excellence so once you have feeling of excellence in you then its outcome is worship now i will make effort to achieve excellence in me so once i see this excellence in other i start accepting this feeling in me and the natural outcome is i will try to achieve this excellence in me it means i will try to get inspired from the reverend so reverend means the person who has the feeling of ex who is living in harmony at all these four levels so once i see such a person in my life i feel excellence i i accept the feeling of excellence this acceptance is reverence and it's reflect in the form of worship so excellence and competition are not same in excellence one helps to bring the other to his level and in competence the other hinders from reaching his or her level so you have to find out you have to explore you are living with the feeling of excellence you are living with competition this you have to explore with this we can talk about glory and gratitude so glory means feeling for those who have made effort for excellence so there are many people in the society who have made effort for excellence who are making effort for excellence so the feeling we have towards the people who are making effort for excellence we are able to appreciate their effort and accept them so when we accept such kind of people who are making effort for the harmony in the society we this feeling is known as glory and what is gratitude gratitude is the feeling for those who have made effort for my excellence so many people are there in a society who have made effort for my excellence if i recognize those effort i feel feeling of gratitude for them so it has to do with the ability to recognize appreciate the help we have received from the other so again pause the video for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you recognize such kind of people around you do you have feeling of gratitude for the people around you with this feeling of great glory and gratitude now we can talk about feeling of love so feeling of being related to all is love so it is a complete value so complete value means now i'm able to see relatedness with everyone that's why we are saying it's a complete value on the basis of being able to see the coexistence one can see that human being is an indivisible part of the coexistence so once you start exploring your natural acceptance when you start exploring your higher level activities that you have studied in uhv3 activity of realization activity of understanding activity of contemplation you see that you are an integrated part of this existence you are indivisible part of this coexistence so once you see this coexistence and once you find this interconnectedness relatedness to all this is feeling of love so this feeling that i am in coexistence i am connected related to every human being and every unit in existence is the feeling of love so expansion of the feeling of love goes to the whole existence now i feel connected with each and every unit of this existence so with the feeling of love we are able to see our relationship the responsibilities and expectations in that relationships and we are able to make meaningful effort 
to fulfill these responsibilities so with the feeling of love i feel interconnected i feel coexistence with every unit in this nature and i also feel committed to participate in their development so love is recognized as the complete value because with it there is a completeness in the feelings with the feeling of love we are able to express all the other feeling so now i am looking at everyone with the feeling of love with the feeling of love means now i am assured about intention of everyone now i am feeling related to everyone so what ever i am doing is doing with the feeling of love so all the other feelings are simply the expression of love in a specific state or situations and we talked about trust as recognized which has recognized as the foundation value because the feeling of acceptance is the minimum expectation in relationship so that's why we are saying is as a fundamental value as a foundation value because trust is expected by everyone around us and with love i accept everyone unconditionally so from trust to love so as a child if we see as a child gratitude is a prominent feeling when the child see that you are helping him for his growth at the level of body at the level of self so he feel gratitude for you so the child starts with the feeling of gratitude so on the basis of help the child is receiving the feeling of gratitude develops in the child from there the relationship starts so child starts with the feeling of gratitude and if we see the interconnection between one generation to the next generation this feeling of gratitude plays very important role so if i recognize the efforts made by our previous generation previous traditions then i also feel gratitude for them that they have given me a lot in the form of scriptures in the form of knowledge they have given me a lot so this feeling of gratitude actually connect previous generation and next generation and so feeling at an individual level and at the collective level both we have studied with this feeling in the self we are self assured within and our conduct is definite so rather than only expecting the feeling from other and our conduct depending on it and being indefinitely now i am having with the feeling of the feeling coming from a right understanding so right feelings based on understanding also leads to harmony in thoughts and leads to happiness so the base of stability and indefiniteness of behavior is right feeling in oneself and we have studied right feelings are these trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude and love so if we ensure these feelings within myself my behavior get definite and my participation gets definite and which is required for a fulfilling life which is required for a humane society so our behavior if our behavior depends on right feelings feelings that are naturally acceptable to me then it ensures our definite participation towards human society so that's all from my set for today lecture students study all these feelings evaluate yourself where you are what efforts are required to move further this you have to investigate in yourself thank you very much in next lecture we will talk about expressed values of these feelings in today's lecture we have talked about established values and in the next lecture we will talk about expressed values thank you very much let's meet in the next lecture have a good day